Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Aisha from Bags of Style. So as you guys can see this little eye candy on the table, I'm going to be doing a review of this beautiful um, Versace Love Medusa small handbag. Um, I did pick this up doing Black Friday, Cyber Monday um, haul. If you guys haven't seen that videos, um, please search on my video library and you can find that video. Anyway, um, if you guys are new to my channel, please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, join the family. We have so much fun here. We talk about everything that's bag related. This is the channel for you. And to my returning subscribers, thank you guys for the continuing support. And let's get into this video. Yes, guys. So as I stated, I wanted to do a review of this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, Versace Love Medusa small handbag. I did pick this up during the Black Friday, Cyber Monday haul. If you guys haven't checked that video, you can check it um, on my library. So let's get right into this review. So this bag um, is made with premium leather. The measurement from here to here in length is 7.8 inches. Height from here all the way to up here is 6.7 inches and then the width right here it's 3.9 inches okay um on here it does have so let me just get into here the opening is kind of just a little bit weird because the opening is like you literally have to put your hands here and then press that's how it opens so if you have nails um it might scratch the bag i think it's kind of weird that they put the opening like that that you have to go in the bag which you will be touching the leather so that's something that i really dislike about the bag so far but anyway let's get right into the bag so it does come with two different straps and i'll open it as you guys see i haven't even opened them yet and then let me take this off okay all right so that's the stuffing so it is made um leather inside as well so it's a leather lining um that's on here on the top handle right here the measurement is three inches this top handle right here is three inches um drop and then with the detachable strap like i said it comes with two detachable strap so the first one this is uh, removable and is adjustable. So this actually is, it can drop between 18 to 19 and a half inches drop that you can use to wear as a shoulder bag. This is how long it is. And it's adjustable, like I said. So you can use it as a shoulder bag or a crossbody, but it kind of sit a little bit high, but you can definitely use this. And then it comes with the chain strap. Let me open this so you guys can see it. As you guys can see, I haven't even opened it yet, but let's get this chain strap open together. So it does come with this chain strap right here. And the chain strap is actually 11 inches drop. And you can actually put it like, like this if you want to dress it up. Or you can use the chain strap as a shoulder bag if you don't want to use the leather bag. But you cannot use the chain strap for a crossbody. So keep that in mind. On the back, it doesn't have any pockets. On the bottom, it does have these feet, which are leather feet. So it actually keep the bag from it sitting on the base itself. So this is like the feet, instead of it being in metal, it's actually in leather, okay? Let's go back into the bag. Let's open it back. All right. So as I stated, it's all leather. It's all leather. It's like a bigger open space. It does have a back pocket right here, which has my Versace... I guess care package, um, care pack on it. It looked like that's the only, that's the only, um, that's the only pocket that it has. Um, this section right here, you can actually remove this to make the bag a little bit bigger. This actually remind me of my, um, my Paul, my Pauline Numero Un, and also my Pauline, um, Numero Un Mini, uh, the one that I did on my collection video in regards to adjustment on the side. So you can actually take this off and it will become a little bit bigger, okay? So that's basically what it has right here. The bag without anything weighs um, 1.3 inch, uh, 1.3 pound, um, if you guys are wondering about the weight and everything like that, okay? And the, the closure, they, they describe the closure as a magnetic snap closure, as you guys could hear. But like I stated, yeah, I don't I don't like the fact that they did it like that, but it is a magnetic stamp closure and the magnet is really strong. So that's a good thing, as you can hear right there. That's really the main detail of the bag. OK, and the, the color is called Tyranny Brown. Um, it's no longer available on the Nina Marcus website. When I did try to research it, it was gone, but I'm not sure. I think you can probably buy this color pre-love if you're interested in it because I didn't see it on the Versace um 
website needed as of me filming this video. So keep that in mind as well, okay? All right, so as you guys can see, I forgot, it does have the Le, the Medusa head right here, which but in the Versace. So I, I love that detail. And then the logo is more on the back right here, a little bit of Versace, the name right there, but it's not really on the front end or anything. But if you see this, you know it's a Versace. So that's it. So let me go into what I don't like about the bag, okay? One of the biggest things I don't like about the bag, especially a bag that's this expensive, I did end at a video when I was doing my collection. I said that I wanted to do a detailed review about it, and there was two things that was bugging me, obviously. The first thing is the closure of it being all the way under here where I got to push my hand like this in order for me to get into it. I don't really like that. I think they could have made it a different way. And the next thing I really do not like, as you guys can hear, the chain is so extremely light, like so extremely light for you spending over 2000 because this price, um, the retail price, let me just put that um, out there. The retail price is over 2000 I think it's, it's 2200 and some change. I'll put the correct price on the screen. But for it being that expensive, this chain feels so cheap. Like, I'm sorry to say that. This chain feel like I could buy it at the Dollar Tree. Like, that's how cheap it feel. I understand maybe they were going for lightness to it, but it feel like it's a plastic. It doesn't even feel like it's actual chain, guys. It feel like it's like a plastic that they just... um um that they made into like the chain kind of strap and then they color it gold. But this feels so extremely cheap, guys. I'm, I'm Honestly, I wish you guys can feel it. It is so light. Like I can literally buy this at the Dollar Tree and put this as my chain. Like I've, I've bought chains from Amazon that are way significantly heavy than this is. This is so cheap, guys. I'm sorry to say that. And I was so disappointed. And that was one of the reasons that was stopping me from buying this bag, honestly speaking, because I went into, I think it was Nordstrom or Nina Marcus, and I tried this bag, and I love the whole silhouette of the bag and everything, but when I felt the chain, guys, it put me off, honestly speaking, I was like, what is this chain, like, I'm, you about to spend over $2,000, and the chain feel like a dollar, like, I'm serious, guys, that's how light and cheap it really feel, like, it feel like a cheap, 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 cheap chain, so, that's one of my biggest grind. Beside the opening of it, this is one of my biggest grind. I'm just like, come on, Versace, you could have, you, you could have put a better chain on here for somebody spending two thousand dollars on your bag. You could put a better chain. I mean, I do understand that you were going for light, like not heavy, but the chain feels cheap, guys. Like I cannot just, I cannot explain it any other way. It just feels like a cheap, very, 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 very cheap chain. Okay, the strap on the other hand. It's, it's light, but at least it's leather. Um, <laughs> so I guess their goal was just going with lightness when it comes to like the straps and the, the chain and everything. But it does feel cheap as well, honestly speaking, even though it's made with premier leather, like they stated, but it does feel cheap as well. So, but the bag, honestly, I love the bag. So anyway, that's my two grind about this bag. Like so far of me owning this bag, those are the two things I'm like, they could have done better. The closure being on the inside and basically, like I said, if you have nails, like nails, you will be scratching this bag. Like you will have scratch on this bag. So it's like, you got to be careful when you're pushing it because it's like literally every time I push it, it's like I'm hitting against the hardware. So yeah, those two things, I wish they could have designed it different. But anyway, let's get to the next thing what fit in the bag okay so it does fit my iphone 14 pro max but i cannot put it standing up i have to put it um laying down so keep that in mind i am filming on that phone so i can show it to you guys but i'll see i'll put what else fit in the bag okay so i do have my louis vuitton zippy wallet and as you guys can see so it fit but it's kind of like a snug fit so if if i don't open the side then it's really really a tight fit like it does fit in there as you can see but it's a really tight fit so as you guys can see it does fit if i put it this way but if i put it standing it won't fit just because of the height difference um my tent my business phone iphone 10 that fit perfectly my mini pochette four let's see so that definitely fit right there and then let's see my key clay see so that fit right here 
if I want to take any just simple card holder that fit right here. So these stuff obviously fit in my um, AirPod fit as well, but I don't have that on me right now. So we're just putting those stuff in there. All of those stuff fit. And just putting that without the um, without the chain or crossbody or anything, it is heavy. So if you want to hold it um, um, top handle, it has weight to it. So just imagine, like I said, it without any item in the bag, it weighs um, 1.3 pounds. It does feel lighter with nothing in the bag. But when you do put stuff in it, you want to hold it top handle. Remember, it is going to be heavy. So if you don't want it to be too heavy, don't stuff it. So just me putting just those items in it. If I want to hold it cross, um, I'm, I'm sorry, top handle, I can definitely feel the weight. I feel like if I put the crossbody on there, it won't really, um, it would distribute the weight. But just holding the top handle, it does have weight to it. Okay. So now let's, sorry, I think I see shaking my camera just trying to open it so if i don't want all of this stuff in here like let's say you don't want to use this big wallet right here okay so if anything i can use like my wallet cell wallet if you just want a little wallet so i feel like if i'm ever going to use this bag i'm probably just going to use a simple wallet because i don't want my um zippy wallet to rub against the letter so i'll probably use a wallet like this which is another zippy wallet but it's way more smaller than the Louis Vuitton Zippy wallet. So let me show you guys the size difference between the two wallets. So as you guys can see, so it's literally half, almost half of, see, so this is how much it's taken off. So I will definitely use this if I'm using this bag to go in. And this is a little bit more lightweight than the Zippy wallet, okay? So that's basically what it is. All right, let me just go back in here. <laughs> all right guys so that's what fit in it um you can put stuff on the backpack if you want to but another another quick thing as well so keep in mind like i said it's leather mitt it's leather interior so you are going to scratch it like honestly speaking even if you don't have like if you have just a little bit nail bud you will scratch if you just just on normal use okay so the it's very sensitive leather in the inside as well so keep that in mind when you're trying to get your stuff out you probably scratch the inside of it because it's leather made so if you are very anus about your bag being in perfect condition this bag might not be for you okay because you will scratch it just by normal use okay and then trying to open it like i keep saying you will scratch the leather because of how the lock mechanism is all right so anyway next thing would I recommend? As I stated, it depends. <laughs> this one, I'm, I'm kind of in the middle of this, okay? Um, I did buy it because I got it for such a great deal. I couldn't pass it off. I literally got it um, during the Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale on the market for half of the price, okay? But that's, if it was the full retail price, I probably would not buy it. That's where I'm at, okay? Um, and the reason why I'm like, I'm in the middle in regards to recommending it, I do love the design of the bag. Don't get me wrong. I think this is beautiful, especially in this color. This bag is just simply, simply, simply beautiful. And I love the brand Versace. That's just what it is. I love Versace as a, as a brand, okay? So I wanted to own one of their pieces, but if it wasn't because it was half off, I probably would not buy it. Just because when I went to go try, like I stated, um, the chain is so cheap. <laughs> the closing mechanism sucks, honestly speaking, because it's like, I know I'm going to scratch my bag, even though I have little nail bud and everything. I know I'll probably scratch it by just the way I'm opening it. So for it being over $2,000, um, I feel like Versace should have made a better closing mechanism and a better chain if they're going to give you chain. If not, don't give the chain at all because the chain is so cheap. Like, just give me a leather crossbody and I can put my own chain on it. But you give me a chain that feel like it's like a penny or a dollar the max. Um, I don't know why, but anyway. So I don't feel like it's worth it with that um for the two thousand dollars if you can find it on the pre-love market for less than retail i would say buy it um and especially if you love the brand versace and stuff like that i would say buy it because it's a well-made bag the bag don't get me wrong the bag itself the leather honestly it feels so so nice on the hand like the leather is just it's beautiful like I understand why they said this is um, premium leather is it feels so good in the hand so for that that's why I said, that's why I would say buy it. And if you love the brand, I love the brand. 
Um, I wanted one of their pieces. I love the design, just the design of the bag itself. I love top handle bag. This gave me more of that Pauline kind of bag, the Numa own that I own. It gave me kind of like that feel, but I love it. So that's the reason why I would say get it. I would say not get it full price uh, because what you're getting, honestly, I don't know if it's worth $2,000. That's just my, my honest opinion. Anyway, guys, and also, before I even end this video, guys, let me know if you guys own this bag in your collection. And if you do, do you like it? Do you not like it? Um, do you, and if you do own it, do you guys, do you guys feel what I'm saying about this chain? I, I think I'm so irritated about the chain, honestly speaking. I could go to Coach and buy a well-made chain where it has the weight to it you know but if you guys do on the bag let me know if you agree with me in regards to this chain i feel like this chain should have never been put on the bag and the cloak the closing mechanism should have been way different like this should have had a different closing mechanism so people would not scratch their bag or damage their bag but anyway i just want to know if you guys do own any of the versace pieces or if it's a different bag you own because they do make different design but this design i just love this design um so that's basically what it is if you guys have, have uh, i'm sorry if you guys have any question please leave it in the comment below and i'll definitely respond to you guys i see you in the next video have a wonderful rest of your day bye